feel very much at home here. I used to, before I could walk very far, I just walked a few blocks. And uh, so I'd go up down these streets and I've passed so many times to see Mr. Miss King and the guard cook. It just makes me feel very much at home. I, I, we really made a mistake in that Mr. Hall be in this picture, folks. How, how are we going to convince people, you know, that, that we've got a teacher who looks younger than we do? That was <laughs>
strange person I was during those years, but you were wonderful to me, and I felt accepted, and you always give me great encouragement. Anyway, I owe you, all, I owe you that apology, that thanks, and I'm glad, one reason I'm glad to have this chance to talk to you. I thought we'd shared, I, you don't want to hear a speech, and uh, I don't want to make one, but maybe we can think of some things and then share together as we as we think back. I came into, how many of you were born, you were born about 1930, right? Most of you, 30, 31? See, I, I was two years behind. I entered school in third grade at Leeton when you were in the first grade. I was in school with, I was right down some lane, I was in school with uh, Walker Brown, James Pride, Betty Captain Smith, uh, Barbara Gamble, Linwood Carpenter, Marsh Strife, Herbert Rich, and Carr Rich. That was my class. But after staying out uh, six years, I got two years behind. But I came from Florence, the, 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 where they had sidewalks, moved out here in the country, and uh, entered the third grade. And uh, I, at first, you know, I was a city kid out here with a country kid. I didn't know what the word, they laughed at me because I didn't know what the word Pope meant. I thought that was a paper sack. <laughs> but I, they didn't talk about Pope. I thought that was a head of the Catholic Church. I didn't know what a Pope was. But they were talking about their lunches and the kids that brought the special from the country. And uh, Bobby's daddy drove the bus and uh, we, we rode brown the first load because it came in and brought all the country kids in. That's right, that's why I was crossroads. And then they'd drop us off and then they'd run around town and pick up people. That was Brown's second load. And uh, it's really trouble when you're in that first load and have 30 minutes of school and nothing to do, especially if it's raining. The, the one D I made on the portman, that's what they called it back then, that just means the heck with it. But one one it was raining, and we got in James Pride and I, and so I just got to throw in the baseball. And uh, we, we knocked over some flowers. Miss, by the way, Miss Burt just died a week or so ago. Miss Fanny Burt, remember? Any of you remember her as a fourth grade teacher? Any of you remember her? Am I that old? <laughs> Did none of you begin in the first grade? Did anybody begin in the first grade all the way through up here? Okay, you remember Miss Ruth and Miss Reed was head of the school. You remember Miss Miss Pruitt was the third grade teacher? Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, I, we, we knocked over a vase of flowers and that got some little trouble. The next day it was still raining and we broke Roosevelt's picture. Now back in those days. <laughs>
couldn't pay for repairs. And I learned to put units in the in the uh, uh, dryer and units in the oven.